Before we begin, obviously there is a spoiler warning in place for the presumed plot of House of the Dragon's future seasons, and Fire and Blood as well. Okay? Good? Great. Let's get into this theory. The elusive identity of Cold Hands has been a bit of a question mark for years. In A Storm of Swords and A Dance with Dragons, Bran Stark and company are taken beyond the wall by this mysterious figure. Cold Hands has a connection with Brendan Rivers, otherwise known as Blood Raven and the Three Eyed Crow. And Cold Hands is a white, although not one controlled by the others. Cold Hands' true identity and origin has been a minor subject of interest, with various suggestions having been floated for some time now. The general consensus is that he is at least a ranger of the Night's Watch, and not a recent one, as Leif, one of the children of the forest, says that he died long ago, and the children of the forest have long lifespans, so she probably means it. But here's one uncommon suggestion, although I doubt I'm the first person to make this connection. What if Cold Hands was Daemon Targaryen? Now, I recognize that, at face value, this theory seems preposterous. However, upon reflection, things do begin to add up. Aemon Targaryen was born in 81 AC, and he supposedly died in 130 AC, a whole 170 years before the current year as of A Dance with Dragons. So, the timeline of Old Hands having died long ago adds up well enough. Furthermore, Old Hands' eyes are described as black, as opposed to the blue of regular ice whites. However, they could actually be a very dark purple, as not all whites change eye color. Beric Dondarrion did not seem to possess red eyes after his white vacation. At one point, Old Hands whispers a prayer in an unknown language. Now, this could be the old tongue or some new language altogether but it could be High Valyrian, which Bran would, of course, not recognize. Cold Hands also appears to have some kind of supernatural connection to his elk and its ravens, and some Targaryens probably have this ability, at least with regards to their dragons. Now we get into the House of the Dragon spoilers. Don't say I didn't warn you. In Fire and Blood, Aemon Targaryen dies in the most metal way possible, fighting Aemon Targaryen while the two are riding Praxis and Vega, respectively, in the air. Which, of course, is where you'd typically expect to find dragons in the first place, but I digress. The interesting thing is, after the battle, Aemon's body is never found, and, as we all know, if we don't see a body, they're not dead. Or in this case, not not undead. Aemon fought his last battle over the god's eye, a fairly large lake. So yes, it's entirely possible that his body was just simply swept away deeper into the body of water. However, located in the middle of this god's eye is the Isle of Faces, an extremely mysterious and magical island we know very little about, populated by a group known as the Order of the Green Men, who are equally mysterious and very magical. What is more, a large number of some of the last Weirwoods in the south are located on this Isle of Faces. The Weirwoods are connected to the old gods, nature magic, and those things are related to Bloodraven, who is connected back to Cold Hands. So, it's possible that Damon's body was found by the Green Men and something vaguely magical occurred to transform him into Cold Hands, and then he went beyond the wall and joined up with whoever was the second to last Green Seer. It would be a cool way to further connect him to the current last Queen Seer, Brendan Rivers, a Targaryen bastard. But is this theory correct? Eh, probably not, to be honest. There are plenty of arguments against this theory, such as the implausibility of Undaemon traveling from the Isle of Faces beyond the Wall without anyone recognizing him, based on what we know of how the magic of the Old Gods and the Rearward Network operates. Furthermore, there is some textual evidence that suggests Cold Hands used to be a member of the Night's Watch. For one, he's dressed in the garb of a man of the Night's Watch, although he might just have taken those clothes from a dead ranger or something. 
Secondly, he addresses Samuel Tarly as brother, which would suggest that he was of the Night's Watch just like Sam, although Cold Hands never says directly that he used to be a brother of the Night's Watch. Also, when Leaf says that Cold Hands died long ago, he also says they killed him, almost certainly referring to Whites, and obviously Damon was not killed by Whites. So, the chances of Cold Hands being Damon Targaryen are in fact quite low. Still, it would be cool. Thanks for watching. I have been your host, Mr. Mac, and I will be back soon.